this Mitch Cobb, the center thing yeah. has been going around and you had a little tweet thread about it well, today. Because, so I, I did my diehard mailbag. So tomorrow, hopefully I'll have my, uh, my free mailbag, but I got the diehards out first because I wanted to get that out before the end of the month. Um, but I had multiple people. I had one person in our diehard section in our discord for diehard members only. And then I had about two or three people, uh, in my call out for questions on the, uh, the free mailbag for, for PHLY at allphly.com asking about the Mitch Koff at center thing. And I get it. Uh, this was the thread that I had. I, I, Cause I was like, look, I answered this question in the, in the diehard mailbag, but not everybody's a diehard. Y'all should be, but not everybody is. I understand. It's not, it's not cheap. It's worth it. It's not cheap. Um, that said, um, I felt like this was something that should be said on Twitter because there are a lot of people who I think understandably are looking at the flyers current and future depth chart and see a big old gaping hole in that one C spot. And now that Mitch Koff is here, it's like, well, we have a boat, but could we have a luxury liner? And the idea is, well, if he if he's already great, why can't he be great at center rather than wing? And the point I made in this thread, and this is my opinion on the situation, is it would be awesome if Mafe Mitchkov, somewhere down the road, can work at center. I do not want him worrying about learning a new position in year one. I don't want anyone i don't want the fans but more importantly because like fans can say what they want like they can they can ask for shane goss bear to be a forward for six straight years and like <laughs> it doesn't matter if the organization doesn't think it's a good idea and, like sorry you keep shouting into the void but i really don't want the organization to put even more on mitch Koff's plate in year one because i would argue that right now there is nothing more important to the future of the franchise than mafe mitch Koff becoming a really good nhl player Nothing more important to the, let's say, the next 10 years of the Flyers organization than the the prospect outcome of Matvey Mitchkov, that he isn't just a decent player. Of course, that he's not a bust. But if he isn't just like, hey, he's, he scores 50 points a year, he's a perfectly fine second line. Winger. Like, no, they need him to be at least a clear-cut first liner, and they really, really want him to be a star-level Batman-type guy who can be the best player on a cup contender. If that's the most important thing, then year one has to be about make like increasing the likelihood as best you can that he reaches that point. And he's already going to be adapting to the best professional hockey league in the world in the NHL. KHL is good. It's not the NHL. The NHL is significantly better. There is going to be an adjustment period for him in terms of dealing with you know quality competition, in terms of dealing with more physicality, in terms of dealing with the changes of style of play and the tactics that are used. That's going to take some time for him to fully adjust. And he's going to be fully adjusting off the ice to a brand new culture. He's not fluent in the language. He doesn't really know everyone. Now the Flyers are going to do their best to help him. And they, it appears they are doing that with the idea of bringing over his brother and his mother having him have a tutor. It looks like he's already getting integrated with his new teammates. He was over at the Phillies game with Joel Farabee and Cam York and everybody, which is great. It doesn't mean it's going to be easy. This is going to be a year of him learning how to live in a new place and play in the most difficult league in the world. That is enough for now. Why make it even harder by having him do all those things and learn the finer points of the center position? My thing is let him play his most comfortable position. Like I don't even want him playing left wing. Like I, I am sure that Mafe Mitchkov is smart enough and skilled enough that in the long term, if you need to push him over to the left side, he will do perfectly fine. But this season, if he's more comfortable on the right side, I want him playing right wing every fucking game because I want him in the most comfortable position possible for him to be able to excel at the NHL level as quickly as possible because that is the most important thing for this team. If a year down the road, two years down the road, Mitchkov is putting up incredible underlying metrics and he's fully brought in, bought into like the spell of John Tortorella and is this tenacious defensive player. If like you're looking at him and you're like, well, shit, I mean, he could, he's, he's smaller Tyson Forrester in terms of defensive awareness. Then yeah, I, it would be great if he could become a full-time NHL center. For now, let's just let him play where he's most comfortable and make it as easy as possible for him to transition his game to the NHL level rather than throwing another big transition point into 
what is already going to be a very difficult year for Mafe Mitchkoff, both personally and professionally. Yeah, I've basically said the exact same thing. Like the way that the Flyers view development, I think comes in here as well. Not that I want Mitchkov uh, like playing in the AHL or anything, but it's similar to the idea of let a guy dominate at one level before moving up, moving him up to the next. Yes. Like, let's let him be the best right wing on the team yeah. before we think, like, let's change his position. Exactly. Like, let's see if he's better than Travis Konechny first. And then once he is, it's like, oh, okay, well, now we can try this other thing. Yeah. Uh, that said, given what everyone has said about his IQ, all that, uh, obviously the skill is off the chart, but just the uh, like the problem solving, the the way he plays the game, the amount he has the puck on his stick may lend itself to center at some point. It could the way it did with Claude Giroux? Could I think we need to look no further than the last really great player we had here, who drafted as a right winger and then transitioned to center because it was like. Well, we need a 3C. And then eventually, you know, became the one. And we want him with a puck on his stick. Yes. And he showed. I mean, one thing we talked about a few weeks ago when we were going through the those uh, the rankings, and we talked about, like, the shift that Drew had in Game 7 of the Boston series where he's battling three guys and he's winning those battles. Like, if by year two, Mitch Cobb's doing that on a regular basis, and even though he's maybe five foot ten at best, is winning those battles along the boards and doing all those little things, then you're like, yeah, maybe he can be an NHL center and a damn good one at that. But I don't think it's something they should force on him, even even if he wants to do it. Yeah. Even if he comes to them and start a camp and says, I want to be a center, they should just be like, excel at right wing first. Chill. Then we'll talk. Choose just, chill. Choose chill. We're all silly like the mayor. 